John, I found a much, much easier way of doing this round corner bit. Um, open up your image. I've got one here. We don't have to do the refine edges or anything like that. It's, it is actually much, much easier. I found a much easier way of doing it. And I wanted to because it was bugging me. Anyway, first thing we do have to do is turn that uh, background into a regular layer. So just double click on it and then just press the enter key. Next thing we have to do is create a new layer. Leave the layer where it is because we're going to draw a shape on top of the image. It won't affect the image, it's going to be just there temporarily. Now the shape we need, if you go over here on the toolbar, you want to, uh, it's where all the circle, square, rounded rectangle, which is what we want, the rounded rectangle. So hold the mouse button down over that tool and you get a whole bunch of different selections here. We want the rounded rectangle tool. Now, what we're going to do, we've got to come up here and look for these three little icons. We want to draw a solid shape. So make sure that this button right here says, if you hover the mouse over it, fill pixels, make sure that is selected. Okay? If it's not, go ahead and select it. Then over here, change this to something like, um, I don't know, maybe 35. You have to try it out and see what, uh, whoops, wrong number. You got to put, if you do type in that box, you got to put 35 and then PX for pixels. Okay. Now, uh, what I did is I went over here to the white box. You just, just leave it white. It's okay because you're going to delete it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Come up here and kind of line up everything there or even if you want to do it here but what I've seen people do is start here hold the mouse button down come down draw your shape and you can see and kind of line up the lines down there on the bottom right let go there's your white shape that's cool now what you have to do now is select the white shape so hold down the control key, come over here to that layer where the shape is, you know, where, you know, layer one. Hold down the control click key and click the left mouse button. And what it does is it makes a selection. Now you can simply delete that layer, drag it to the trash can. Now you're left with this selection over your image. However, if you press the delete key, like for example, control X, like this, you're going to end up deleting the main image. You don't want to do that. And that's why we do the inverse selection. So I'm going to do undo. I'm going to do uh, Control Shift I. Or you can also go up to Select. And I believe there it is right there inverse. Okay, I like the shortcuts. So make sure it's inverse selection like that and then you can do control X to delete and there you have it your image with the round corners now let's improve the image a little bit go down create a new layer alright drag the layer to the bottom because remember the image has to sit on top of the bottom layer now if white is select selected over here in, in the left here just simply do alt backspace or you can co come over here select the paint bucket come over here and then click Boop. there you have it you got your uh, white background now we need to go back up to the above image and this is where you're gonna have to test it and come up with the embossing and embeveling and or whatever you call it beveling that you like and to get to it easily just double click on layer zero okay there it is I come down here bevel and emboss and I can start to see things take shape but here's the problem you'll notice that if you increase the size most of the embeveling and all that or bevel and embossing is all happening on the right hand side of the image we need to change that so to change that you just come on over here to the angle 
I think we chose down today. Well, that's a little better, but anyway. Choose down, and then move this guy like that. And then if you want to create more of a highlight up in this upper corner like you like, take this little crosshair and move it more to the center slightly. And you can see, and then bring it down a little bit. Just So you just have to kind of fuss with it a little bit. And there's also other things you can do, like uh, in the technique, you can do the, uh, the chisel hard. And that kind of gives you a little bit more, you know, of a chisel. You can shrink the size down a little bit so it's not so bad. Um, but um, I think the, the smooth is probably really, really nice here. And just kind of give it a little bit of a shape there. And there you have it. Now there is a way, and, and unfortunately, let's see what this does, contour. Ah, that's what you want, contour. Um, let's see what this does. I think what this does is it uh, helps to create more definition around the entire image. Again, you have to mess with it. If it's something that you think you want to do there, you know, all sorts of stuff you can do. Um, you are the uh, artist and uh, do whatever you want to do. All right, so that's basically how you do that. You just have to mess with it to, you know, maybe look online on, on Google or whatever, or YouTube is pretty good with tutorials on how to do that stuff. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hope that works. Click OK, get out of it. And uh, you're all set re and re ready to go. Okay. Bye-bye. Um,